Hi class, we're going to look at how to write a lab report. The lab report follows the format that scientists often use when writing up their experimental results to be published. Okay, so we're going to follow that format. And so the first thing you'll have is a title, and the title is descriptive. It's not sensational like in a newspaper headline. So this will be descriptive. So for example, if you're studying yeast, um, and you know, if, if they're alive or not, you might put, you know, methods used to determine if yeast are alive. Okay, so it just describes what you did. The literature review is very important. It is a section of a paper that gives background information on the topic, so the reader can be up to speed on what's going on before this experiment occurred. So you might uh, type in a Google search that is, that, um, does keyword searches is, uh, you know, what is living? Um, what, how do you tell if an organism is alive? Or baker's yeast or whatever. So then, uh, then you will review the information from the Google search, the sites, and you'll pick three that are interesting to you. And then you'll read them, take notes, and then close the page and then write out a paragraph. That's the best way to do it so you don't plagiarize. So no copy and pasting um, into your report. So it has to be in your own words. And so and to keep you from you know, copying too many words down in a row that are came directly from the report, it's better to take notes and then close the page and then write it out. Okay, so you're going to have three paragraphs. Each paragraph will be for one website that you, you found. So three paragraphs three different references. And at the end of paragraph one, you'll put something like a number system. And so you put, this is called citing your reference, and so we'll put a number one in parentheses. And then paragraph number two would have a two at the end of it. And so this corresponds to the end of the paper reference list. Okay. So paragraph in your own words for, one, for each of the three references and then put a citation number. This is again worth 10 points, so this is an important part, 10 points out of 25. Okay, materials and methods is just a, a description of what you did, so you're gonna explain this and write it out as if you're writing an email to a friend explaining what you did in lab. Okay, you don't write bullets, you don't write step by step, you just explain in full sentence paragraph what you did. The results are kind of the heart of your paper, um, the purpose why you did the experiment. So the results tell you what you found out. So the results um, are going to be things like, um, you know, what you measured or what you observed. So for example, if you did an experiment that had a balloon that inflated with the, the production of carbon dioxide from yeast, so then you might draw a graph, and so there'll be balloon one, two, and three, and then the volume in the balloon, and then you have a column graph. And so then you would call this figure one, which is important to label your figures and tell uh, you know, in, a, in a caption what, what it is about. So you might say something, figure one, um, a graph about um, the in, a graph um, Showing the inflation of volumes for a uh, for the experiment. Okay. You don't explain what it means, or you just explain what the graph is telling you. All right. So then there is a discussion. In the discussion, you can put things like what the graph means. So you can refer to Figure One, and you know. Balloon number two had much more inflation, and so that that confirms that uh, yeast is indeed alive. You can also put in things if you had questions in your experiment protocol or procedures that asked you questions and you filled them out. Uh, that's not wasted. You can put some of that information here. You don't have to put it all, but just put some of it here. Okay, so this explains your results. You put answers to questions, you discuss anything that went well, things that you would change if you did the experiment over again, and so forth. And then your references are a formatted list of the 
sources where you got your Google search information for the literature review. And so you should number these one, two, and three, and the references um, are going to follow the MLA format, or you can use the APA format. So you can look online to find how to write those out. Um, there is something in Google, I don't have that for you, but you can do a Google search on citing your references. There is something where you plug in the website, um, I think it's into a Google program, and it will format it into the proper reference. So if you are in interested in that, search that out, uh, or um, see what you can find. Alright, that's how you write a lab report. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.